Hello, my beautiful Gemini's. Welcome to September readings. Who or what's coming in towards you? General energy loves my highly resonate with you. Might be here and there a message as well. Don't forget, we do have a new moon in Virgo on the 2nd of September. Working on our day-to-day -day energies. Mercury is direct at this time of the year or this month. So no more delays. Also, we do have a lunar north node eclipse at 25 degrees in Pisces on the 17th. Great time to manifest big as well to make the necessary changes on what we do or what we want to do. Pisces also speaks about our inner selves, working more or do what we really enjoy more. But let's see, loves, who or what's coming in for you? Because for everyone is different. Some of you might have a person coming forward. For others of you, there is a situation that's on the way to you. And you definitely need to know how to proceed forward or how to embrace it. We have the Emperor underneath. Emperor usually speaks about Mars energy, actions. So whatever comes to you, it's more action where you need to take action towards a situation or regards a situation. For some of you, someone here takes action towards you. King of Cups. I have a father, father figure energy here. Seven of Wands, the Fool, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Queen of Cups. Here you are, King of Swords. Wow. So three kings right away. And the Five of Wands here. Bam. So definitely here, it is a situation, but it's not only one person involved, but more than one. Okay. And it seems here, no matter whoever it's involved in the situation or what matter, it's kind of you, you know what can be. So allow the things to flow. People are going to talk. People are going to say. It's like some of you, you try to to explain yourself or try to tell people things or try to keep your way. You know, a lot of people will see the things exactly the way they want to. You don't need to explain them. You don't need to show them somehow. Because whatever is there, you do you. People will talk anyway. People always will find something to say. But the matter is how you do it or how you proceed. For some of you, this is something about your own business or your own um, company or whatever you do for work. And if you really enjoy the things you you do or have to do. You know where you're going and you don't need to tell everyone where you're going. They will see it themselves when you'll be there. Because your vision will be seen differently. I feel here for some of you, you want people to see you exactly the way you see yourself. Spirit says that's quite impossible. Allow them to see whatever they want. Whoever believes in you will believe no matter what. So it seems here for some of you, you are indeed could be an entrepreneur, a business owner. It's like you're, all what you do now is to get away from the distractions. 
because for some of you might come quite a a lot of destruction more than you ex more than you expect and let the things to flow i feel here it's a um, it's a time in your business or in your life in general that it's a little more chaos or tense because i see you tense for some of you seeing overly tense might need to take a little break or it's kind of like let the flow be there let's see more ten of cups knight of wands four of cups and the chariot so let the people see the way they see you because that's not going to give you much. For some of you, whoever here sees you in a certain way or brings rumors to you or other people brings rumor in here that you are this, that you are that. It's not only distract you, but want to take the joy from your life. Okay. We do have three kings and we have a knight and we have a queen. For some of you, you don't need to put everything close to your heart. I feel here you are very sensitive, Gemini, the one I'm speaking here. However, don't look whatever here worked, whatever here didn't work. Just move forward. That's the, um, the chariot here for you to tell you, no matter whatever you're going through right now, don't look the things in that way or in a sad way four of cups yes people will will say stuff that probably will not be beneficial or will not put you in a good light but anyway it's kind of after a little while or a few weeks months you are gonna be away from them very quick ace of wands very very quick look at here you do you because whoever here threw with the garbage in you wanna be like you, wanna surround you. It's kind of they wish to be you and they can't. So at least they will throw with some bad stuff in you. You clearly know what I'm talking about. The Gemini that resonates here, Ace of Swords. You clearly know that these things are not going to stay here just like that. Whoever speaks to you. So some of you, definitely this is coming to you that you don't need to. Yeah, somebody here wants to hurt you or want a reaction from you or want to see you in a certain way. Why do you want to give them that pleasure? The Knight of Wands here. Six of Cups. Yeah, some people might tell you, oh, you know, I know them how they were there and look at them now. Well, people do change if they do want. People grow if they do want to grow. And yes, probably you're not the old you. Probably a lot of things change in your life with the time. Probably you've done a lot of things to change. They never been in your shoes. So, yes, probably your past doesn't look the best. And yes, we all have a past. We all come from certain areas, certain families, certain um, traditions. But we are not defined by our past. So, know that. I come from a family that are very religious, all my family but not as spiritual as I am. And I truly believe in a spirituality. Whatever you believe more, that's what you become more. However, not everyone will accept you the way you are and the way you are becoming. Some people will come along, some people will go away. And that's the reality. I want to clarify this five of wands as well. 
hang band. What I'm feeling here, some people will, um, it's kind of everybody sees you differently. Everybody will say, oh, look at them. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Like a lot of people will, um, will switch the opinions about you or about what you do or how you do the things and so on. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of changes that you've done and you've done because you want it. And some people stay wherever they are. They never grow. They never expand. They never evolve. And that's why those people who are Back behind you, let's say that. That's the people who are going to talk. Okay? That you change, that you are different, that you did this, that you did that. And yes, you did. You did. Seven of Cups. They try to figure out how you do it so they can do it too. They, they feel like how, how this changed, how this are. I don't feel here these people will continue to be around you much longer. So it's kind of in this time, take care of you, darlings. For many, many of you, the Geminis I'm speaking, again, you, you change a lot. And whoever has to say something you don't need to because they're not probably as important in your life right now. The chariot energy here, we have lovers. You choose to move forward and Spirit says you've done the right choice to do you, to make better choices, to go forward, to go beyond the fears. Yeah, some people are going to sink in, others sink out. So you choose to move forward. You choose to do you and not stay whatever you used to. You choose to work on you, on your balance, on your money, on your things, on your goals, on your future. And here you are. In the six of wands some of you gemini's you could have leo in the chart very strong or sagittarius but it seems here that you you didn't resist the movement you you went with the flow you plan and you follow the plans and so on it's kind of you you create your own reality and now you have it you know a lot of people have time to see on the other side, when the other side works on their dreams. That's what you do here. So for some of you, definitely there is some success that's coming up for you. And yes, you are going to be criticized, talked about, and we'll figure out what's happening or how did you become or what what is the, the secret in all this. There's no secret besides work focus and plan what else coming in for you darlings what else coming for you is the sun the happiest card of taro the sun card speaking of is renewal into your abundance into your life happy news something here definitely that you are gonna get in the spotlight a lot of people might have questions for you. How did you get there? What you get? Or can you, you know, teach us? There's something here about whatever you go, you are going to be seen, noticed. Queen of Swords. For some of you, you might have a mentor here. For some of you, you could become a mentor, but it's kind of a new way of balance. I also see here the second part of the month as the sun goes in Libra, sun in Libra. And 
Sun in Libra moves on September 23rd. So by September 20th, 23rd, there is something here coming in and things kind of are gonna cooling off or cooling down. This is also after the full moon in Pisces. The, all the craziness are gonna cool down. For many, many of you, a situation here that was chaos is gonna even up, is gonna get more stable than you, than you thought it will. But yes, it's a new way. I also see here a Gemini that through this chaos, there is a person that you're going to meet. And for some of you, if you've been in a long, long time single, you might not be single. Okay. If there is a new person that's coming in, let's see. Give me some insights about this new person coming in. Page of Cups. Strength. I feel here whoever comes in has great potential. Because strength speaks about the strong. They can create strong connections, strong relationships. It's like from something small can go something big. Ace of Swords. Someone who is honest. Someone who doesn't know what they want. Who they want. Five of Swords. And this person doesn't, um, doesn't accept any jealousy or any games. Or they are not up to games. They, they don't need any games. They are looking for movement in their life. Five of Cups. They also have been through some uh, situations in life that they don't want to go again. So this person is kind of quick knowing if the person is good or not. Or if the person is honest or not. Two of Wands. They very quick will know if... They want to go forward or you want to go forward with them or not. It's kind of, you know, it's the matter of that click. Are we clicking? Are we a match? Are we good together or not? What advice Spirit wants to bring to you for this month, Geminis? Two of Cups. Embrace the new opportunities, new energies. And embrace new love for some of you. Take it slow. The night, this is the first night we have here. No, we have the night of uh, wands. Long term, focus on the long term. Knight of Pentacles speaks about the long term. Slow and steady wins the race. Absolutely. And four of wands. Because whatever here you go, one step at a time, you're definitely going towards something stable. For some of you, you are whoever comes towards you this month, a person. For some of you, it could be also a Taurus energy. Scorpio, I'm picking up Leo energy or someone who could have Leo in the chart. This is a marriage. This is a, a commitment coming in. It's a wedding energy. For some of you, you might be invited to a wedding. And... Could be the one. Look at here, temperance. It's like you've been guided towards this new opportunity or new person or new energy. And for some of you, whoever here comes will bring you a lot of peace in your life. A lot of balance. It's kind of will be helping you to, to have balance. To, to work on your commitments. It's kind of will will improve the qualities you already have. The best ones. So Geminis, that's what I have for you, darlings. I hope this resonates, speaks to you. And it does. Let us know. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.